the burden of the valley of vision, what also is to thee, for in all thou ascendest into roofs, thou full of cry, a city of much people, a city full out joined, thy slain men were not slain by sword, neither thy dead men were dead in battle. All thy princes fled together and were bound hard. All that were found were bound together. They fled far. Therefore I said, go ye away from me. I shall weep bitterly. Do not ye be busy to comfort me on the destroying of the daughter of my people. For why a day of slain and of defouling and of weepings is ordained of the Lord God of hosts in the valley of vision. And he searcheth the wall and is worshipful on the hill. And Elam took an arrow case, or a quiver, and a chariot of an horseman, and the shield made naked the wall. And thy chosen valleys, Jerusalem, shall be full of carts, and knights shall put their seats in the gate, and the covering of Judah shall be showed. And thou shalt see in that day the place of armors of the house of the forest. Ye shall see the crazings of the city of David, for those be multiplied. Ye gathered together the waters of the lower cistern, and ye numbered, and ye numbered the houses of Jerusalem, and ye destroyed houses to make strong the wall, and ye made a pit betwixt two walls. <laughs> and ye restored the water of the eld cistern, and ye beheld not to him that made after that Jerusalem, that made that Jerusalem, and ye saw not the worker thereof afar. And the Lord of hosts shall call in that day to weeping and to mourning and to baldness and to a girdle of sackcloth. And lo, joy and gladness is to slay calves and to strangle weathers, to eat flesh and to drink wine. Eat we and drink we, for we shall die tomorrow. And the voice of the Lord of hosts is showed in mine ears. The wickedness shall not be forgiven to you till ye die, saith the Lord God of hosts. The Lord God of hosts saith these things. Go thou, and enter to him that dwelleth in the tabernacle, to Shebna, the sovereign of the temple. And thou shalt say to him, What thou what thou hear, either as who hear. For thou hast hewed to thee a sepulchre. Thou hast hewed a memorial in high place diligently, a tabernacle and a stone to thee. Lo, the Lord shall make thee to be borne out as a capon, is born out and as a cloth so he shall raise thee he crowning shall crown thee with tribulation he shall send thee as a ball into a large land and wide there thou shalt die and there shall be the chariot of thy glory and the shame of the house of thy Lord and I shall cast thee out of thy standing and I shall put thee down of thy service and it shall be in that day I shall call my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and I shall clothe him in thy coat, and I shall comfort him with thy girdle, and I shall give thy power into the hands of him, and he shall be as a father to them that dwell in Jerusalem, and to the house of Judah, and I shall give the key of the house of David on his shoulder, and he shall open, and none shall be that shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall be that shall open, and I shall set him a stake either a perch in a faithful place, and he shall be into a seat of glory of the house of his father. And thou shalt hang on him all the glory of the house of his father, diverse kinds of vessels, each little vessel from the vessel of cups till to each vessel of musics. And that day, saith the Lord of hosts, the state that was set in the faithful place shall be taken away, and it shall be broken, and shall fall down, and shall perish, that hang therein, for the Lord spake.